Minister within the Ministry of Public Works, Diodat Indar, said on Sunday that the iconic Jovira Park will be rebuilt in 20 months' time into something very attractive not only for Region 3, but for the entire country. He also reminisced on the pre-COVID traditions of Easter celebrations at the venue. As you know, we're going we're gonna to rebuild this entire park into something very, very attractive for Region 3 and Guyana, because it'll be accessible to everyone. But this park, as you know, is part of Guyanese heritage. Um, Easter time, people will come here, families, everybody. And uh, all, what we have had in the past is something simple, garden-like, and we are putting an, a massive enhancement to that. The project, which will start this year, will cost in excess of 11 million U.S. dollars. It is being funded by the Chinese government as Guyana and China celebrate 50 years of diplomatic ties. Chinese ambassador to Guyana, Guai Haiyan, reiterated that the park will be renamed the Guyana-China Friendship Joe Vera Park. She said that the park will be built with an aim of providing a public place for families and would not only have recreational activities but cultural events as well. She said also that the park's concept reflects the government's people-centered development approach. According to the agreements between the two governments, uh, China, the Chinese side will help to rebuild this park into an open uh, public uh, place uh, with Chinese assistance. The aim of this park is to provide uh, a modern a public place for local people near their home to have a, uh, they can have a cultural events, uh, recreational activities uh, near their home. Once completed, the venue is expected to have a Guyana-China Friendship Guyana Monument, an amphitheater, a picnic lawn, a stand canopy over a pond, twin pavilions and grounds for football, tennis and basketball. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Shikima Day.